Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy Casket King back at it again with another video. Today we're doing a Halloween tier list. We've got 20 movies. We've got S, A, B, C, and D. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do do a uh, do a tier list. And we're just we're gonna do these in the order that they have appeared. So first up, we got Casper. Not a bad movie. I was obsessed with it as a child for some reason. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put this in B tier. Because there's not much about the movie I remember. Next up is The Corpse Bride. Got some great musical numbers, uh, interesting art. I, hmm, I'm gonna put this in B tier as well. Put a lot of stuff in B. Next up is Dracula. You know, you, it's Dracula. See, so you, you gotta put it in A. You can't fuck up a Dracula movie. Next up is Ernest Scared Stupid. Uh, I don't remember much about this movie, but I love Ernest, so that bumps it up from a C to a B. Next, we've got the Goosebumps movie. Uh, I'm going to put this in D tier, because I only saw part of it, and I lost interest, and I would put it lower than D tier, but, you know, it's got Jack Black, so it automatically goes into C tier. Jack Black always puts it up a notch for me. Next up is the original Halloween. Now this right here, this this is going in S tier. It's a fucking amazing movie. And if you haven't seen it, you got to. I don't give a shit about the sequels. Most of them are shit. Mm. Next up is Hocus Pocus. This movie didn't do so well when it first came out. Uh, but it's gained a cult following. I'm going to put this in A tier. Next up is It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Now, I only know, like, one person who's never seen this, and we're going to have to rectify that. But this, this is automatic S tier. This plays every year. You have to watch it. It's automatic... Halloween viewing. Anyone can enjoy it. Mm. Next up is Monster House. All right, movie. Uh, interest got a couple of interesting characters. I'm gonna say. Uh, God, it's somewhere between B and C. You know what, I'm not going to put it in C because it's not on the level of Goosebumps. So it's going to go in B. Next up is Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. And automatically S. I, you can watch this for Halloween, you can watch it for Thanksgiving, you can watch it for Christmas. It's a multi... It's a multi-holiday movie, and it does what it does very well. Next up is Nightmare on Elm Street. We're just talking about the original. I'm going to put that in S tier as well. Next up is Paranorman. Now, I remember liking this movie, but the problem is I don't remember much about this movie. I remember the art being good, but I don't remember much of the story. 
Which means it wasn't that memorable, I guess. So we're going to put it in C tier. I still recommend watching it at least once. Alright, next up is Scary Godmother. Nobody liked this when it first came out, but Cartoon Network played it every year, so people started liking it over time. I'm going to put this in A tier, because it became a holiday staple. Next up is Sleepy Hollow. I believe this is the one with Johnny Depp. I'm going to say... It's not B tier. You know what? It is B tier. I'm not going to put it in C. Next up is The Craft. Uh, I think I watched this movie once. I didn't have much interest in it. I know a lot of people would put this in S or A. But for me, it goes straight into D tier. I'm sorry. Next up is the Halloween tree. Now, a lot of people haven't seen this. It used to run on Cartoon Network all, every year. It's made by Hanna Barbera and got the same composer as Focus Pocus. So, uh, I, for me, this is automatic A tier at least. Almost S because of the art. Next up is The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, the Disney one. This, this is automatic A tier. The, the, the story is good, the art is good, it's a classic. Next up is Disney's Tower of Terror with Steve Gutenberg. Now a lot of people would put this in D or C. Now, I personally, I would probably put this in C, but I, you know what, I, you know what, a lot of these movies are going to C, but they're not Goosebump level bad. Goosebumps is being marked down to D. I'm making this decision. Anyway, Tower of Terror, it's almost a C movie, but I love Steve Gutenberg, so that raises it to a B for me. Next up is Trick or Treat. It's a horror movie. I think they're making a sequel. It's got like several stories. It's almost like Tales from the Crypt. But from this, this is S tier. This is automatic. Gotta watch it for Halloween movie. And the last movie on our thing is uh, The Blair Witch Project. I fucking love the Blair Witch Project. My own bias, I would put this at S. But I know it's not a perfect movie, so I'm going to put it at an A. So yeah, this is, this is our tier list. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know down below if we missed any Halloween movies that we should have put on the list. And if we get a decent amount of movies, maybe I'll do a revamp version of this. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.